Ever experience headaches and you're wondering why and well apparently not even medics can pinpoint a reason well this that I'm gonna speak in this video can be and I'm saying can this can be one of the potential reasons now the point is headaches have a multitude of reasons why they might pop in this one that I'm gonna present you is a bit more esoteric in a way and therefore it shouldn't be taken necessarily as the first one to take into account but you could actually try this and see if this is the case because I'm sure to a certain extent it is the case for many people now what am I thinking about well the problem that can stem with a lot of headaches is, well, a lot of negative emotions and the circus that we are doing in our own minds. Of course, this is not going to make a lot of people comfortable, but we spend a lot of time each day thinking about bad things that can happen, how they can happen, how they can get even worse, and we always think about the people we don't like because that's what ignorance is. You don't like certain people, but they're always in your own mind. So the point is, the more you spend time doing this, you're actually hurting yourself and the more you overthink in general, that's causing some damage to you at a level that you're not most likely aware of. Now this is called the level of the mental body because we also have an emotional body, we also have a mental body, we also have an energy body. These are separate dimensions, let's say, of ourselves. Now you might not probably believe in the such, but they actually exist and they have a different influence upon you. Now these bodies are just like the physical body, they are a friend that will never leave you, that's the point. But the problem is, we are not taught how to take care of our physical, emotion, mental and energy bodies and therefore we are using them more like prisoners, technically we are abusing them. We are not taking care of our health, right? that's why many people end up eating junk food or they simply don't eat at all, they believe that suffering is the new norm and you know even in music uh, many people are just inducing a lot of suffering. Don't create things through suffering because you are just creating augmented suffering, that's the point. So many people suffer, they always create this melancholic music that doesn't serve much instead of uplifting spirits, they always create stupid silly music about you know them being rejected by society or them being, I don't know, rejected by a girl or a guy that wasn't even, you know, appropriate to them. So the point about this is, well, there are impulses and people have to tend to them because impulses can be very strong. They have a great ancestral uh, depths, let's say. So the more you overthink, you are kind of torturing your own mental body. Each thought is like an electric discharge and when you overthink it's like you're constantly shocking your mental body. Now of course this can have a lot of problems because you're also influencing your emotional body through the emotions that you're putting out. Because technically those emotions that you're putting out are also influencing you because they're also being stored into your own body in different locations where they happen to store themselves, right? Because your body has energy in it, in it, okay? And I am not the kind of person to tell you that everything is energy and the such, okay? This is also something that most people know to a certain extent, but it's not because of this. And there are energy exchanges in between your bodies and, well, the environment. And there are certain situations, usually self-destructive behaviors, that cause certain energy shortages in certain places. And the body will always feed with certain energies, and you're also creating energy because you're kind of a battery, right? The emotions that you're producing, you're producing them. You're using your life energies to create energies that, well, fulfill a certain role. So you hate someone, you're gonna put a lot of hate outside and that hate is also influencing you in the first place and it's gonna settle in places where you have less energy. It's gonna create certain blockages, it's gonna create, you know, it's gonna be like a disease, right? Like a little cancer. Ultimately, cancer means a certain little part of you turns against you. Now, cancer can be in, well, Many people know of cancer at the physical level, right? Some of your cells turn against you and they become cancerous cells and they can become a real life and death situation. If, well, not taken care of and usually you feel its presence when it's kind of late or tending towards being very late. But at the same time, 
Cancer is always hatred. When you hate someone, that's also cancer, because a part of you is turning against you. You've turned against yourself and that's basically cancer. Manipulation is also cancer because what manipulation or black magic means, they're perfect synonyms. Black magic means turning someone's energies against their own selves. So the point is, you're creating a little persona in their heads, which they identify with and then they turn against themselves. Right? When you doubt yourself, you're actually turning against yourself. There is something within you that simply is against a certain idea. Now, that doubt can actually be useful or not. It depends how much emotion and how much overthinking you invest into that. Because the more you invest in those, you know, without... Well, the more you invest in that, the more you're gonna suffer. And, well, your mental and emotional body will also suffer. And these things you will also feel because those sufferings, that karma that you're producing in your physical body <coughs> usually ends up in there as a result of your suffering, right? The suffering especially of the mental and emotional body. These bodies are also physical but, you know, less perceivable. They're still physical because they have a boundary. And the point is they can also hurt. Which is why, at times, you might actually feel some headaches, but they don't feel necessarily physical, right? It's like, there is a sore somewhere in your body, but it's not actually there. So, overthinking can actually create a lot of headaches. Ever wondered how much power you have? Well, I don't know if you actually know, but children are... Um, children are boundless. They have so much power, if you piss off a child and you make them feel so defenseless and you make them rage, the output of energy that they can put out can actually break a light bulb, right? The electromagnetic fields, the electromagnetic frequency they can exude when they are in that rage moment, you know, they've had enough and they want you to really understand that they've had enough of it and they, you know, unleash that cry of rage, that can actually be so powerful it can break light bulbs. That can happen with adults as well, but usually adults are far more limited, so, you know, a lot of limiting beliefs also can have an influence on the amount of energy and raw power they can unleash through such moments. But there are those moments when you rage so hard that you even break the light bulb, which the light bulb, again, is a physical body. It also has an electromagnetic field, and in order to break it means that an external influence was strong enough to influence it in a bad way. So that's the amount of power that you can exert through your own emotions. Now, when that happens, think how much damage you're doing to your emotional body. Now, your emotional body and your mental body, they are just like prisoners. They can't run away from you and the damage that you're causing to them, which is kind of problematic, because you're doing a lot of damage to yourself, and that damage will sooner or later be felt on the physical body. So the point is, you can't necessarily, you know, uh, you can't necessarily make it in such a way that, well, you only suffer mentally or psychologically or emotionally, but not physically. They are all interconnected and sooner or later they will have an influence upon you. Now, the point is I can actually go on with this, but I'd rather leave it just like this to trigger some curiosity. I'd rather make short videos than speak for hours on end, because I can also do that, but I don't want to give people flat answers. Flat answers will be taken as they are, and, well, they'll be taken as a flat answer. People have to realize things, so one has to trigger their curiosity and their sense of introspection. Once that is achieved, people will seek things within them, and once realization is done, well, another blow to ignorance is dealt. All this being said, you are appreciated. Take care of yourselves. Ferenjan Bohr signing out.